I should say as a caveat that um, I listened to the game in my rent a car on Sirius, but they didn't have you guys. They only had the two Tampa guys who aren't, okay. who aren't very good. They a lot of talking like this. Uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mean Gene Deckerhoff. Yeah, it was not. Uh, uh, He's it, a veteran. He's if been you, around. If you ever need to go in and renegotiate or whatever, bring in a tape of that guy and play it for Rod Zimmerman. <laughs> <laughs> you go, you want this or do you want this? And then play a tape of yourself doing a Devin Hester, you are ridiculous call. <laughs> How about I, this? Speaking of that, uh, I'm in London walking around town Saturday with my wife and uh, just happened upon the NFL pep rally they had in Trafalgar Square. And uh, Lovey and some of, the players, some of the players came off the bus and they go on stage. They're on there for seven minutes and the place was packed and blah, blah, blah. And they're running highlights. Right. And they're running, they're running Devin has to UI ridiculous highlights in central London. Nice. And it's echoing through. I thought that was the coolest damn thing. Yeah. And yeah. then, uh, and not because it's me, it's just, it's weird, you know? And so right before kickoff, one of the NFL uh, executives helping out with the broadcasting department comes up to me right before kickoff says, Hey, you need to know that Devin Esther just ran out of the locker room and they, all these young kids, they were holding these placards for the national anthem and their big demonstration with the flag. And, um, they started Devin Husta. You are, re- I can't do it, but you are you ridiculous. Break, right. The kids were saying, he goes, you're international. Everybody <laughs> knows. And so it stunned awesome. me that something so simple and, uh, it has become so big. Dude, did you I, trademark that yet? No. No. Mm-hmm. Next topic. <laughs> All right. Are you not allowed to? I don't think so. Right. You got a kind hey, of a Tom, Gary. I'm out with Steve right now. Yeah. Tom Thayer just walked out of Hallis Hall. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Are you still in a bad mood? You hear that? <laughs> I Again, it sounded like he was still in a bad mood. <laughs> 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 oh, hey, man. I invited him, and I want to invite you, too. Uh, Monday, we're having a Monday night football party. I know it's Halloween. You probably have to stay home with your kids. But uh, Monday... Well, I got, you know, I got Bears Insider on News Radio 780 and 105.9 FM WBBM oh, with Bears right. head coach Lovey Smith that's and right. a special show in the auditorium. So we got oh, live you... guests, live fans. Yeah, big night. Yeah, because we're, we're, we, we're having a Monday night football party Halloween slash Halloween party at... Uh, Haymarket down on Randolph Street. Yeah. Mm. So. What time does that go from? Seven until you know the game's over. So okay. Um, it's ask well, Tom. Ask Tom if he's really coming because I'm going to use his name to draw people if he is. <laughs> we, Tom, Steve wants to know if you are really coming to his Monday night party because he wants to name drop and use you as a shield, basically, to bring in more like a magnet. <laughs> I, I mean, I well, I have my fingers crossed to go there. Yeah. I mean, I. I say no. Do he will do it, everything in his power to go there. All right. T- and I believe he's a man of his word, so I believe he's trying to talk Hilgi into going, too, but that's that's always a risky proposition. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm not going to rule out swinging by right. afterwards, so maybe I will, but I will be uh, I will be dressed as me, though. No no, no special costume. That's all right. <laughs> just go, just... I can pick Hilgi up, and then I can bring him home if he needs a ride. If he's Who, worried Hilgi? About yeah, because he lives out by me, so... That sounds like a proposition. Yeah, it, I believe it. I believe it is. Uh, that, sounds, that was way too eager. Uh, that was very eager. Well, you guys are all invited, and of course, you would be bathed in love there. So I bet I would. I yeah. bet I would. It sounds like a good time. Yeah. So all right. Well, uh, if I'll you, look if, into it. All right. I'll know, look just, into the possibility. I'm just putting it out there. So. All right, listen, i got to roll because I think practice is going to end early here and everybody, all the other media are uh, going right. over to the Walter Payton Center. So i got to cut you short. I apologize. Oh, no problem, buddy. We always appreciate and, uh, you calling in. So, mm-hmm. Oh, no, I love it. So, I look forward to it every week. And um, you guys have a great bye weekend. Take a nice Take picture back. Take a nice picture of your pile of leaves and send it to us. I, I, okay. We'll put it up on the website. And, you know, in, in my honor this weekend, everybody out there, grab a race. <laughs> <laughs> get a pile of leaves, get them nice and big, and then just dive in and roll around. Maybe just, you should just like a kid. You should talk to the Ace Hardware people about endorsing a rake. Yeah. <laughs> this rake is ridiculous. <laughs> it's rake ridiculous. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> See you later, Jeff. All right, bye, guys. Thanks, buddy.